Hi, this is Bob Darrell with Synergy Kettlebell Training, and I'm bringing you a more efficient kettlebell clean. In the part one, we went over the back swing, so if you have not watched part one yet, check that out so you know how to make a more efficient swing into the transi transition to the clean coming to the rack. So this one, we're going to assume you already know that back swing and move right to the rack. So I'm going to demonstrate it first, and then I'll break it down. Okay, so again, watch the backswing video. If you have not watched that, I'm not going to cover that part right now. What I am going to cover is what the hip is doing and what the arm is doing. So a more efficient means of getting the kettlebell to the rack position, okay, is going to be pulling it up there rather than pushing it. Now I'm going to turn to the side. Some schools teach you to thrust with everything you've got, the hips, squeezing the glutes, get the power going up there. The problem with that is it's not efficient. It uses too much quads, it uses too much hamstring, it uses too much glutes, it uses way, way too much back. Too much muscles are being worked and you're gonna get fatigued, okay? You can't go for long, you probably can't do very heavy for long. Um, so our goal is for capacity. We wanna go for a length, length of time. So we're gonna be as efficient as we can using only the muscles necessary. So pulling muscles are gonna be a lot more efficient. So as we come up, rather than thrusting it, over-exaggerating that, we're going to be pulling it. So when the bell comes out of the backswing, about waist level right here, we're going to pull the hip back, and the arm comes through into the rack position. Okay? The arm's relaxed the whole time until it pretty much accepts the bell, and then it rests in the rack position at that point. So as we come up, pull, hip turns back. Okay. The next video we're going to cover hand insertion. So when you come up and the hips are coming back through, that's the timing when you insert the hand. But for right now, focus on pulling with the hips. So I'm going to demonstrate it again and my cinematographer is going to move to the side and you'll actually see when I pull with the hip. And that's typically going to be right, right about waist or hip level. Same breathing as the back swing. When you get into that rack position, you let that exhale go, and you can rest there as long as you want to. I was going kind of quick, but you can rest there for five seconds, 10 seconds, a minute, or go really quick. So that is the hip acceleration pull for the kettlebell clean. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Stay tuned for part three, which is gonna cover the hand insertion and what the arm's gonna be doing in the rack position. This is Bob Guerin with Synergy Kettlebell Training. 